Alright, another chicken coop fun day. Um, this roll of fence here was on my property when I moved here 20 years ago. And I basically just put it someplace else because I figured I might as well save it because I might need it one day. And today is finally that day. Um, it's in rather rough shape. It took me a good 20 30 minutes to get this thing just unrolled. But that should be enough to fix the fencing at the uh, bottom of the coop. Um, so, figured I'd give you a before picture of what this fence looks like. You should have already seen the holes, and now I'm going to get to it. Alright, so this is a corner that's really bad. You can see due to erosion, i got a big piece of cement hanging out there. I'm hoping there's another piece of cement holding that piece of fence down there. Because if I try and go around it, I think it's going to be a mess, so I'm debating whether to just chip that off or let it be. I'll make my decision after I walk the rest of this mess. Uh, this is my other problem corner. And you can see you got a similar situation with the cement they used. Looks like they poured two inches of cement. And that's it. Um, so that's going to be another one. Do I want to chip it off? Or do I want to let it be? I'll ask Buddy's opinion here. Alright, so basically I have to make it from about five feet past that near pole to past where coal is sitting now. I'm pretty sure that fence is going to be long enough. So I guess I'm going to try and haul it or drag it over here and start tying it in. And we'll see what happens. Yes, it has been more than ten years since my last tetanus shot. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot of tetanus and stabbies on this thing. Alright, in YouTube time, that took about two seconds for me to move this into position. In real time, this was about a half hour. So, got it stretched about to where I need it to be. I'm going to flip it over so the clean side is on the top, so it'll be less stabby. And I am going to beat off that uh, bit of cement block there. Yeah, I know what I just said. Alright, back in a bit. Alright, got the first corner of it tied on, got the block broken off, and just work my way around the corner here, and tightening and uh, twisting to the existing fence as I go. So, I should go down far enough where I can uh, throw some debris or something on this side and it should keep things from digging underneath it. So. Vines suck, by the way. Vines and chain link fence, there's like a magnetic attraction that the two have to each other. You even put a chain link fence near a vine, and they're going to get tangled. So, that's most of my woes so far. Otherwise, it's just straightforward brute work. Alright, back in a bit. Alright, I got it stretched all the way over. Now I'm just uh, kind of crushing it down and stitching it to the chain link fence. I'm not sure if you can see the black wire ties in there. But, uh, basically it's all just crush and stitch, oops, put, basically do that, stitch it together, then we'll have about a good uh, foot and a half of overhang here, which I will do something with, but I think that's the, uh, pretty much you got the point of this video here, do the same thing here. Crush that down good and tight, get that sucked up, same on this corner here, so it's all basically just boring work but from here on out, so I'm going to end it today, we won't bother with any more updates on this little project because who the hell wants to watch this? But if for some reason you did enjoy watching this, uh, please hit that subscribe button, I do appreciate it, and y'all have yourselves a wonderful day. Alright, decided to do an after video, got it uh, pretty much wrapped up, um, I could probably get some uh, yard stakes and kind of get the overhang beat down a bit, hey buds, but uh, it's going to take just a quick walk through here, show you what's done, um, that is very much 
better than what it was. Let's get on the other side. We got it nice and tight. This is where that block was that I chipped off. And that's going to be a lot of work to get through. I think any critters are going to try and find an easier way than to try and go underneath a foot and a half fence. And just walking it down. This is our other corner. So again, that's pretty tight. That hole is covered and then that's where it ran out of fence. So I've got more uh, chicken wire and other types of scrap fencing around, but uh, this roll that uh, I just saved just in case for two decades came in pretty handy. So that is all. I'll leave you with a shot of Buddy here, and uh, you all have a great day.